What's happening everyone? I hope you're still keeping the very best. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving my honest review and a very quick review at that on Hugo Boss, The Sin Absolute. So in that line, this would probably be the most popular of the fragrances in that line. And in this genre, I wanted to give my perspective of this fragrance and what I think of it, is it worth buying? So let's get into the video very quickly. I'm gonna give you a simple note breakdown here and an understanding of the fragrance itself. Warm, spicy, fruity, aromatic, woody, earthy, fresh, and citrusy vibes you're gonna be getting off this fragrance. In the notes, we have at the top note, ginger, and in the middle note, we have manika, and the base note, we have vetiver. So I spread this here before the video. It's a beautiful scent, it's a very nice scent. Uh, I really do like it myself. The only thing I'm gonna say about this fragrance, in my opinion, and what I like to go for is, I wanna go for the full package. So I like the projection, I like the longevity, and obviously the smell has to be really good itself. So this is a winter, fall kind of fragrance. In that genre, in my opinion, what I would go for over this would be Stronger with you, absolutely, or I would go with uh, Zara Wanted by Night. So in my opinion, they would be the better of the fragrances because they have that projection, they have the longevity and have the smell. This is a wee bit more close to the skin, so you're not going to get that projection. You are going to get longevity, it is going to last you a long time. And like I said, it smells fantastic. It's a really nice smell, it's a really nice scent. It's a wee bit more seductive, a wee bit more closer to the skin. So maybe for date nights, this would be perfect for you. But overall, a great scent. It is worth having in your collection. And I'll see you soon.